Hello class, this is section 5.5 .5, and in this video we are going to use the properties of a self-adjoint operator to prove that eigenfunctions of a sturm liouville operator that correspond to different eigenvalues must integrate to zero in this way. So remember we had this property uh, whenever we had two sign terms with different frequencies and we integrated them together for the Fourier theorem proof. Uh, remember in that setting sigma x is 1 we got zero. This is a generalization of that, and it shows that this idea applies to any eigenfunction, not just the sines and cosines. So here, remember that sigma x comes from the sigma, the sturm liouville equation, Lf plus lambda fx sigma x equals zero. That's where that comes from. So here is how we're going to use self-adjointness. First, we write down our properties. We have two eigenfault values at lambda m and lambda n, and we write down the sturm liouville equation for both of them. Let us also label the first equation 1 and the second equation 2. And what we can do now is that we can multiply the first term by fn, so the first equation rather, by fn, and multiply the second equation by fm and subtract the two equations and we get a resulting equation get fn times lfm minus fm times lfn plus lambda m fm fn sigma minus lambda n fm fn sigma equals zero. I'm just going to suppress the x dependence to make things a bit easier to write. So we can integrate both sides by I move this term to the right and integrate both sides. So we have a to b fn l fm minus fm l fn dx equals to integrate on the right side too. So we move everything, the lambda terms to the right side and we obtain lambda n fm fn sigma minus lambda m fn fm sigma dx. Now you may remember that L is self-adjoint since both eigenfunctions should obey the same boundary conditions. And so this entire term is zero. And this implies that the left hand side is zero. And we're left with A B lambda N minus lambda m. So remember the lambda eigenvalues and they are const and they are uh, numbers, but the fm and fn are functions. x sigma x dx equals zero. So this these are these lambdas don't depend on x, so we can pull them out. Lambda n minus lambda m B A fmx, fmx, sigma x, dx equals zero. But we noted that lambda n and lambda n are two different eigenvalues, so they're not the same, and therefore uh, lambda n minus lambda m is not zero. So we can divide by lambda n minus lambda m, and this implies that this integration of fm, fn, and sigma must be zero. And we are done.